Hey guys, welcome to my video today. Um, I'm going to be going over modeling with sinusoidal functions. So we'll do one where we won't use a calculator, and then we'll do another one where we use our um, TI Inspire. So hopefully, um, hopefully you can get get that going. Um, so what I want to show you here is uh, we've got a problem here. A toy car is connected to a wall with a spring that has a natural length of 18 centimeters. And uh, let me just draw a quick picture here. Um, oops. So, wow, I'm having some trouble today. Okay, so uh, let's see, I got a wall, and then there's a spring, and then there's like a little toy car attached to it, okay? And this toy car is, we're going to pull this toy car back, we're going to pull it back eight centimeters or six centimeters. And this distance here from the wall to the spring is 18 centimeters. We're going to pull it back six centimeters and then we're going to let it go. And the car is going to oscillate at 1.5 times per second. Find the equation that models the horizontal position of the car from the wall. So we want to know how far is the car from the wall at any time, depending on um, as it goes back and forth and back and forth. And we're going to ignore friction. So that way, it does, it's not going to slow down. The ball, um, the car is actually going to go, go this way, back this way, back, back and forth, and just keep oscillating, okay, back and forth. Um, one thing to know about this spring is that if I pull it back six centimeters, then it's actually going to only go six centimeters from the natural starting length. So uh, it kind of looks like this, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's at 18 centimeters to start with, and then, um, and then it goes, and, and, and then it's over here. You know, we got the car here, and then it's, um, how far is that? 18 and, tw and 6 is uh, 24. And then it goes backwards, you know, and then it crosses through here again. And then um, eventually it's going to be over here. I know I'm writing over the words. You know, and, and now it's, it's 6 centimeters this way. So um, away from the roll, that's, um, you know, that's 12. And then it's going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and so on. Okay. So uh, let's, um, let's take and uh, model this. We'll find a, a, an equation that models this car. So what's happening here is uh, we've, got, we've got a sinusoidal function. We've got something that's going, notice it's going back and forth and back and forth. And it looks like our maximum is 24 and our minimum is 12. So we're going 24, 12, 24, 12, 24, 12. Um, what is the center here? Well, the center here is 18. That's our natural length. Um, and so we're going like this, and then we're coming back, and then we're going to be back at 12. And you can already see as I draw this, you know, as the car gets drawn this way, we're having a, um, a sine curve so or a cosine curve, depending on which one we use. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's go ahead and, and, and erase all that and put it into a math Put into math here for us. So let's go ahead and draw an axis. And since we said that our um, that our midline, because that's where it's going to go back and forth and back and forth, is 18, I'm going to go ahead and draw that here. So this is our midline. And um, I can't make that a, a dash. Well, I can make it a dash line. We'll just, uh, we'll just do this here. Okay. So this is our midline. And we know that our midline, um, we're actually going to pull it out, right? So we're, since we're pulling the graph out, we're not going to start at 18. We're going to start up here at uh, 24. Okay. And then uh, at some point, we're going to come down, hit the midline, and then we're going to go down to... 12 because we've got our midline being 18 you know and this is 6 and this is 6 okay 6 between the two and then we're going to go up again and we're going to get there and then it's going to continue to oscillate right so uh, what kind of function is this um, when you look at this it's well it looks like it starts on top and then comes down so that looks like a cosine so we're going to use a cosine and we're going to look for 
a cosine b x plus c plus d if we need to uh, put all these in, okay? So um, let's go and see what we know. Well, we know that the uh, amplitude is going to be 6, because we see that there, so 6 cosine. Um, we don't have a phase shift because cosine starts at the top here, right? So we didn't, we didn't phase shift this at all. So we're, gonna, we're not going to even need C. So I'll just put BX. But we did have a midline that went up, right? So the midline isn't at the y-axis, or I'm sorry, at the x-axis. So since the midline is not at the x-axis, we're going to say the midline here is what? It's 18, right? So we know that D is the midline. So this is plus 18. All right, so we've got, we've got, we've almost got our model. We just need to uh, find what B is. So um, how would we find B? Well, it gives us some information here that the car oscillates at 1.5 times per second. So what that means is, is that um, the period 2 pi over B is 1.5, 3 halves. Okay, because period is a length of um, how many cycles per length of time. So 1.5 times per second. So we're going to take our period formula, 2 pi over b, and set it equal to 3 halves. Instead of setting it equal to 1.5, I did 3 halves because uh, it's just a little easier to deal with the fractions this way, right? So I'm going to um, cross multiply and then divide by 3, and I get b equals 4 pi over 3. Okay, and just in case I might be in our viewing window here. Okay, so again, um, I took 2 pi over b, set it equal to um, 2 3 halves, and I cross multiplied, and I found that b was 4 pi over 3. All right, so I'm going to put that in here, and I'm going to get y equals 6 cosine 4 pi over 3 x, or t, if you want to use t, plus 18, and there is my mathematical model, okay? So the next question says, how far will the car be after a quarter of a second? So all I'm going to do is plug in one-fourth here. times one-fourth, because that's my time in seconds. Uh, that's going to cancel out. I'm going to have cosine of pi over 3. 6 cosine of pi over 3 plus 18. Cosine of pi over 3, well, we would use our unit circle. So I'm going to put this up here because, again, I might be in my, I can't really see myself here. Um, using the unit circle, cosine of pi over 3. Okay, so we're going to 6 times the cosine of pi over 3 is, let me think about this in real quickly, um, is 1 half plus 18. So I'm going to get 3 plus 18, which is 21 centimeters. Okay. All right, so now let's take a quick look at something where we would have data and we would use our, um, our calculator with it. Okay. So um, in my next example here, I'm using the TI Inspire. So here's our data. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, I'm going to close this off here. And we're going to need to go to our, um, our CAS. Or no, if you don't have a CAS, it's fine. But we're going to need to go to our, our calculator. And um, let's go ahead and go to a um, new document. We're going to do a list and spreadsheet. Let's call this time. And then call this uh, distance. And we'll put in our information. So zero, uh, we should go back and see what those were again. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, four. So we're doing it every second. Zero, one, two, three, four. And then we have our distance. So 24, 15, 15, 24, 15.
All right, so now that we have this, we're going to do a new page with a data and statistics, and we're going to go down. We want this to be time on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis. And look, it looks kind of, it does look very similar to what we had before. Um, let's go ahead and pull this over here. All right, because we know that it should go down to 12, right? All right, so now we need to find the uh, regression equation. So let's go ahead and we go to menu and down to analyze, down to regression, and down to show sinusoidal. There it is, guys. So it shows our sinusoidal curve. This is what we had. Now, we didn't have 6 sine of 2.094x plus 1.5 plus 18, we had actually a cosine. Uh, but we know from before that when we're doing phase shifts, cosine is just a phase shift of sine. So your calculator is always going to default to a sine graph instead of a cosine graph. So it basically took your graph here and it, it, it shifted it over. It's not going to let me shift it over, but it's, it shifted it over um, so that it can give you a sine curve. But it's the same, it's the same curve. It's the same model. Um, it's just using the sine instead of a cosine. So that's it, guys. That's um, you doing it by hand with a problem where we would have to find our model ourselves, given information, and then using data. So when I see you next time, we will do both of these problems. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.